Not many people take the time to factor in the cost of renewing a subscription when buying a scanner, but this is something that should be seriously considered, especially if you work on modern vehicles or certain brands. Today I'll cover some essential things to consider regarding the subscription cost for scanners. Now let's get this. Let me first say that if you work on older vehicles, maybe from the mid 2000s and earlier, you may not necessarily be bothered by having an active license for your scanner. But if the cars you work on are more recent, or you do certain brands like Chrysler, Dodge, BMW, Mini, and so on, then having an active subscription becomes something you should pay close attention to. For example, if you are into coding on BMWs and you have an Autel scanner, an active subscription is a must because Autel supports online coding for BMW and you do have to get access to Autel servers to complete this process and to gain access to Autel servers you need an active subscription. The metric I tend to use when it comes to renewing subscriptions is what's the cost of the subscription as a percentage of the cost of the tool. For example for the Autel MP808 STS ZTS or just the regular MP808 TS a renewal license is about 67% of the initial purchase price of the tool. And so this is something definitely to consider. The equivalent device from X2 is the IP819TP and the renewal cost is 33% of the cost of the tool. Switching over to the launch brand, the renewal cost for the X431 Pro Elite varied from 37% to as high as 77% and this is because launch offers a model where you can purchase subscription for some vehicles and leave off the vehicles that you don't work on. One other challenge that makes most buyers skip over this is that the cost of the renewal license is typically not listed on the product pages for most scanners and you'd have to do some decent amount of digging to get these costs. I've been able to find these pages for both Autel and X2 which list the cost of renewing a subscription and so these are resources you may want to consult if you're considering tools from these manufacturers. Now update costs are not the only thing you should consider when it comes to purchasing a scan tool, you also want to look at other things like functions, coverage, ease of navigation and so many other things. Be sure to check out my in-depth comparison between Autel and X2 scanners if you are in the market for a tool. Hope this has been helpful. Do like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications if it has and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!